Hi, welcome mm. back to this year's first episode of the Grandview Chronicle Roast. I'm here with Mr. Rose. Hello. And we are talking about whether students should be allowed to wear costumes or not. I think yes. I mean, look at me. I'm cute. Who could say no to me? Would you still be cute without the costume and just normal clothes? That varies <clears throat> from people opinions, but I'm not sure. I think I would be. And don't we just look aren't we just looking at inner beauty? What kind of person you are? We can what kind of student both. you are? Well, my inner person is reflected through the expression of my costume. <clears throat> I am Charizard. I could be one with Charizard, and you're not allowing me to be. You're not allowing me to live my identity as a Pokemon. And I think that's very discriminatory in nature. Don't you have enough time out of school to dress up and run around the neighborhood? No, I do not, because I'm in school for like six hours, and then on top of school, I have homework, and I got to be there. And why would I not want to express my identity where everyone is, where all my friends are, where my peers are, my teachers and my coworkers. D won't this distract from the academic ideas that we're trying to get across to students? I would argue that having one mm. day dedicated to having kids to uh, express themselves will bring the school closer together and the teachers closer together so the relationship will be better. Mentioning just one day, once you get one day, there's this thing called a slippery slope. Students get one day to dress up and be funny. Mm. Then they're going to get two days. I would argue. Then there's going to be three days. Next thing you know, we got people dressing up and looking funny all the time. I would argue that your argument is a slippery slope because there's only one day in the school where it's socially acceptable <coughs> to dress like this, and that is Halloween. So just because we wear um, costumes on one day doesn't mean it's going to lead to us wearing costumes <coughs> every day. Don't we dress up during Spirit Week? in the fall for homecoming and the wish week in I believe February there's ample of times to dress up there's at least 10 days right there where one can dress up so the idea of you missing out on one day when you already got 10 days is quite a bit right there would you rather just skip the 10 days and take the one however <clears throat> that you didn't you answer the question what I'm saying <clears throat> is that spirit week is for <clears throat> the school but it's Halloween, for all of us. Halloween is for the children. And Are you in high school children, now? I, I am. And I may almost be 18, but I am still a child in the eyes of the law. And therefore, I would like to wear my costumes with my friends. What is your argument? Is wearing a costume dangerous? Tell me how it could be dangerous. I, did, I never said dangerous. Look, I would say I that said maybe childish and foolish, and it may interfere, and it will interfere with the the idea of what we're here for, which is learning. But is it dangerous? No. See, that's how you answer a question. <laughs> I said no. I said no. We should be able to have Halloween and Spirit Week. See, there's the slippery slope. We go back to that. If we were to dress up every single day in costumes, wouldn't that take away from the distraction factor? If I were to go into my AP US class, Mr. Lukenhouse, I know how much you love me, and if I were to dress up in my Charizard onesie every single day, how many days would it take for it not to be funny? About 15 minutes. You could just say, hey everybody, I love whatever this Winnie the Pooh costume thing is. Words are just words, but actions speak louder. There are times when being an adult, or a young adult in your case, where you have to make choices like, okay, I can't dress like this at school, I can't act like this at school, but I can at home. What I would say is that this is a dawn of a new era. We are the new generation, and we come with new ideas. And if we want to wear our Pokemon outfits, we will wear our Pokemon outfits because it's what the people want, and we will give the people well, what they want. Well, most of the people are thinking what I'm thinking is we got a new era of millennials who are going to do whatever, yada, yada. Incorrect. We are Gen Z. Agree to disagree? All right. That was fun.